Hey everyone, my name is Alec Garza. Today I am making a video about how to let somebody you used to love go. Uh, if you or a friend has gone through a recent breakup and is finding trouble letting that person go and moving on, maybe this video can help. So these details and tips are going to be very specific and these are actual tips that helped me move on from a previous relationship and I want to share them with you because I wish someone told me this as soon as possible so that I didn't make myself look like a fool. Um, so the first tip going right in is eliminate exposure of them completely. That means unfriending them, unfollowing them, deleting their number, anything you have to do to where you're not going to see these people. Don't go to the spots they go to, don't go to where they work, you know, just completely eliminate exposure to them because every time you see them you're going to get triggered, okay? And by eliminating exposure, also your close friends that you hang out with on a daily basis should unfollow them too. Um, because what if they're going through their feed and your friends like oh my god look who posted you're gonna see that pig you're gonna get triggered if they're a true friend they'll have no problem on following that person and if they do and if they have trouble on following them there might be some kind of ill intentions there so you better check your friend and see if they're really a good friend or not so that's the first tip completely eliminate exposure to them my second tip is make money okay it's really hard to be depressed when you're making money okay um, you know, it's really hard to get down and to think about that person when you are building yourself up and bettering yourself and improving your conditions, okay? Your situation is separate from theirs. You can still control the amount of money you make and how successful you are going to be as a person. Your relationship ain't going to pay the bills. Love is not going to pay the bills, okay? Go out to your job. Go interact. Go work. Wake up every day and say, I'm going to go make some money today. I'm not going to stress out about this person. I'm not going to be sad because I am bettering myself and I am putting myself in a better position than I was before. So that's my second tip. My third tip is do not put the ball in their corner. Okay, what does that mean? That means don't text them, don't call them, don't email them, don't show up to their job, don't try to show up to their house, make no contact with them. The only exception to this is if you messed up and you feel like a dick and you want to, you know, close it off and find closure. Yeah, do whatever you need to do, you know, make your goodbye, but don't expect anything from it. Don't expect that they're going to forgive you. Don't expect that they're going to hit you up the next day. After you do that, let it go completely. Don't text them, don't call them, don't do any of that. You know why? Because if you do, you're going to be waiting for their response and they're going to be having, they're going to have the power again. So don't do that because no one should have power over you. I've had a lot of exes in the past say, oh, you made me this way. Yeah, you like, you're the reason why I'm like this. No, okay, no one should be able to control how someone dictates the rest of their life. No one should dictate that. One person's mistake should not affect someone and how they interact with everyone else in the rest of the future. You are in control of what you want to do and your feelings and your destiny, okay? If they have control over you, something's wrong in the relationship. Something's wrong with you. You control your heart, you control your mind, okay? If you hold on to someone's mistake and you can't forgive them, it's gonna hold you back the rest of your life. My fourth tip would be to interact with people more. Get out more. Uh, socialize more. Hang out with your coworkers more. Hang out with your friends more. Do something where you are constantly having to think about what you're gonna say next and you're caught up in the moment. I realized that I got most depressed after the breakup at night and in the morning because I had no one around me. I had, you know, it was just me in my bed. But I've realized that that's the truest test. And those moments, if you get past that, then the rest of the day is gonna be a breeze because in during the day, you're gonna be working, you're gonna be hanging out with friends, you're gonna be interacting, you're gonna be doing something to have your mind off that person. So open yourself to interactions. My fifth and final tip would be to give it time. You gotta be patient. You're not just gonna wake up one day and just realize, oh, I'm over this person. You know, it doesn't happen like that. It does take time. But in time, you'll realize that you are better off without them. Or in time, you'll realize maybe they weren't the one for you. In time, you'll realize that you are better off focusing on yourself, strengthening yourself, and doing a lot of things for yourself. You have to find your purpose. Your girlfriend's not going to give you a purpose. Your boyfriend's not going to give you a purpose. And so don't be scared to be alone, okay? You know, we grow up in these movies and we think, oh, we find the person we love at a young age, we stay with them for the rest of our lives, everything's going to make sense. It's, it's not a movie. Life is hard. Relationships don't work out. Okay, some people have never ever even been in love their whole life So just be happy that you even had a relationship and that you got to learn from it and apply that to the next relationship And make sure that the same mistakes don't happen from that last relationship Take time to really focus on yourself and think okay, what am I gonna do now? Not what could I have done then? What could I oh I could if I only did this if I only done that don't drown in regret Okay, because there's nothing that's gonna come out of that nothing will come out of that learn from your mistakes Apply those lessons to the next relationship and you'll be fine. 
So those are my five tips. Quickly, we'll go through them. Number one is eliminate exposure to them completely. Number two is make money. Number three is don't give them the ball. Keep the ball in your corner. Number four is interact and get out more. And number five is give it time and be patient. Okay, if you follow these tips, I promise you it's going to make getting over that person a lot easier. I hope this was beneficial for y'all and I hope that you found some value in this video. Uh, I just, it was kind of random. It just kind of hit me in my head, man. Like I should make a video about this because I've known a lot of people who have had relationship problems and didn't know what to do. And I was one of those people and I wish there was a video like this for me to watch to help me get through that tough time. Um, so thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day and don't worry, you're going to be okay. Peace out.